Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review. And as you can see, I'm in another helicopter. So this is another recent uh, addition to FlightSim.to as of the 29th of October it came out. I am reviewing version 0.2 and this is the SA342 Gazelle. Now this particular one uh, on their website, so this is from uh, on the FlightSim.to website from uh, Farfar. 2021 so 2021 so fafa -F -A. so thank you very much for downloading my helicopter pack uh there is still a lot of, to do on this helicopter i am learning uh by doing so it takes the time and I'm making new textures making new gauges uh, i'm not programming professional all right put it in the folder uh you know what it just says it's an old project from fs9 which is probably why noticing the trousers on these guys being white, I think there's a missing texture on there. And the pilots do look like the old uh, early flight sim. Actually, some of these textures do look like that as well. But, good start. I don't know whether it's a uh, conversion or they've um, taken original or they did actually make one back in then. I'm not sure. But what we will do is we will give it a fly. All right, inside. I think the inside textures are actually improved over the exterior. Exterior needs a new touch up, but maybe some more, I don't know, 4K or thereabouts um, uh, texture update. Now, can I press anything here? I don't actually know what is clickable, and to be honest, uh, well, I can't even turn the batteries, generator, alternator. I think what we'll do is we'll do a full button press. Okay, none of those worked. So I just did a, like, basically a control E on my flight controls. It's quite loud. Might turn that down. Does sound very good. Mm, to be honest, I think this is a FSX conversion or FS2004 conversion with nothing clickable. Wow, that is really loud. No wonder they wear headsets and helmets and stuff. No, it doesn't look like anything's clickable in here. It does sound like my engines are finished starting up. I also noticed that none of the gauges or dials moved when I pressed that, uh, which you think they would normally do that. All right, let's try the flight stick. No, flight stick is not working. Throttle is not working. I do have Airland FS loaded with the uh, SA342. Yep. Okay, well, it's working. Let's get out over the side here. Well, that does sound nice. I don't know why that does that blade going back and forth. I think it's meant to look like when the uh, camera can't keep up with the refresh rate. Hello, Rufus. Trying not to get in your way there mate let's take it to full throttle thank you all right hang on let's get a bit over here run around the end of the airport Okay, flight model didn't like that. Right, okay, don't pull back on it. It didn't seem to want to... Yeah, now it does. Okay, didn't want to pull back when I was turning. So, unlike some, like the little Robin, which you can uh, turn quite, uh, 
quite hard on the stick to basically turn and pull back. This one didn't seem to want to. Oh, it is now. Nope, there we go. We've lost it again. Okay. So, maybe the flight model is different on this one. So, maybe I should be a little more gentle and a little less uh, rough on the turn. I am going to keep that in the uh, video, though. So, if you guys are uh, wondering why I uh, videoed something that made mistakes, well... I'm going to show you how it works and how, or how it doesn't. So it's just the pulling back and trying to uh, turn it, even though you've got full throttle on. It didn't seem to want to turn. I'm not going to do it as sharp this time because it just drops out of the sky. Alright, a bit of rudder turn there. Yeah, okay, that, that did it better. More rudder, less uh, less actual turn. Okay, go down and annoy the uh, Sydney Tower here. All right, let's see if we can get some uh, autopilot. Autopilot on, heading on, altitude hold. No. So unlike unlike the uh, Black Hawk or Sea Hawk. You can't use the autopilot in this. No. Alright. Not yet. What do we say we're on? Version 0 0.2? It's only early days. Alright, see if we can land it back where we took off. Now to get this working, I loaded up uh, Airland FS before launching uh, Fly Now. So basically before I even loaded in, so I was in the menu of um, Microsoft Flight Sim. Loaded up Airland FS and then I dragged the uh, config file, so the Airland SA342 config into my same folder I have all my Airland stuff. And I just loaded it from there. Shouldn't actually matter where you load it from as long as you load it. Then you just go to what airport you want to take off on and press load and then fly. If you do it afterwards, sometimes it uh, doesn't like it. Do you know, it's actually fairly controllable here. Slower flight, no problem. So what we can do from outside. Actually, it's probably a little easier inside. And I'm also flying on casual pilot. Most forgiving. Alright. Okay, engines are down. What other views do we have? Outside, not so good. Is that it? Another inside, some more outside. Okay, so all the views are not yet set. Alright, just this one here. You can modify that yourself. Let's shut it down. Wow. Nothing's clickable. Okay. Look, it's a good start. It's another helicopter added. I think it's more of a convert over from old flight sim rather than a brand new -y. But if this all gets updated so you can actually click all your things, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it is free. It's up to you if you want it. Thank you. A like, a comment, subscribe. Go and check it out. Link will be in the description. Have a great day and hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.